Tonight, we got our hands on new information explaining exactly what happened to an African-American burial ground that was destroyed for redevelopment. For more than a year, we've been following what happened to Zion Cemetery, where archaeologists detected nearly 300 graves at apartments, a towing lot, and a neighboring business. That sparked searches for other destroyed cemeteries. And so far, crews found 145 graves in a field at King High School, more than 50 at an old school in Clearwater, and at least 70 more at a business a few miles away. There are also searches underway in Odessa, McDill Air Force Base, and Tropicana Field. A new 150-page report details from start to finish all the work archaeologists have done to confirm graves and understand the cemetery's story. 10 Tampa Bay's Emerald Morrow spoke to the lead archaeologist on the case. Above ground portions of Zion have been wiped away and replaced with buildings, but the archaeology has shown that below ground Zion is still there. In a newly released report that spans roughly 150 pages, we learned Zion, which sits along North Florida Avenue, was not the only casualty. Archaeologists say forces of gentrification pressed on what was the black neighborhood of Robles Pond in the early 20th century when the city annexed the area, threatening homes, the land, the sacred spaces. Those white landowners that bought portions of Zion immediately removed all of the headstones and turn the space into residential and commercial space, effectively erasing the cemetery. We also learn of those buried in Zion. Some are believed to live through slavery and emancipation, but poor record keeping means we know little about their lives. There's also evidence that some graves were disturbed or moved, and maps show where city utilities run right next to or over some of the graves. That's gonna require close coordination between landowners and the city of Tampa to deal with those utilities and roads. In all, archaeologists have detected 297 graves and they believe there are more. All of the graves are still there and all of the items that people place with their loved ones, um, many of which trace back to long-standing African-American um, traditions, are still in place. So Zion can't be erased. It's still here. The Tampa Housing Authority has taken the lead on this investigation and paid for most of the archaeological work to be done. Leaders say they will know somewhere between two to five million. They will need somewhere between two and five million to restore the site and build proper memorials. Emerald Morrow has been doing some incredible reporting of Zion and other erased cemetery sites around Tampa Bay for months. If you want to learn more, you can catch up on all of her reporting right now at 10tampabay.com slash erased.